Hi guys, I'm Sam from Website Right, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, migrating emails, this is what this video is all about because um, I've had a few situations recently where I've had a client who's hosting elsewhere, they've come up to me, they said, Sam, I want you to host our website, but we need email continuity. Uh, that can sometimes cause a bit of a dilemma, especially if they've got loads of email addresses, and one of my clients actually has. So it's like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this now? Of course, when they host with someone else, they'll be probably using different host names and incoming servers to what you will have. Uh, so, you know, either which way, they will need to change their email settings. Now, if they had something like G Suite or Office Live 365, where, uh, you know, you're using external service, it would be absolutely fine. You can do a domain swap and there's no issues at all. But if they've got their email hosted uh, with the website, then it can cause issues. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of a kind of logistical dilemma with this company, but the main thing is transferring the existing emails, of course, because if they've got an IMAP account, that means that they're basically sending, receiving, and it synchronizes between the various devices like laptop, phone, etc. cetera. Um, but of course, all the emails stored on the actual server. So we need to transfer emails from A, i.e. the server it's on at the moment, to be my server. And there's a really useful tool, actually. It's really old school. It looks old school, but it's secure, and it's a great way to just grab all the emails and transfer it from A to B. And this is how to do it. So, I mean, take a look at this website. It's not the best, is it? It's quite old school, but you can see how it works. You've got the source mailbox on the left-hand side in that beautiful purpley pink color. Obviously, you enter the email address and put in the server as well. And then, of course, put in your new details in the sort of teal turquoise area here on the right. And obviously, this will be your server. Now, ultimately, they will be using mail.gwinternational.com, but I'm having to use the original host name before the website DNS migrates and then in time they will be able to use that. But anyway, it's just a case of entering the source details on the left, the destination on the right, and then hitting this green button to synchronize. And you'll see that it all goes on there. You've got a 200 OK uh, message there, which means that everything is all good and they've managed to log in. And here it's going through the motions. Now look at this, this is so technical. Uh, I don't really understand any of it, but what it'll do, it'll go through all of them and then it'll just carry on doing its thing. And then once done, you'll be able to log in to the webmail of your destination where those emails are being sent. And you'll be, to be able to see that all the emails have been transferred successfully. But yeah, this is still going through the motions as it stands. Usually it's um, fairly quick actually, but depending on the size of the user's mailbox, you can see here 14 messages left of 59. So it's still going through, but obviously wait for everything to transfer. You'll get your okay message and everything has moved across. Then at this point, once you've done that for all your emails, you can then repoint the DNS uh, to point to your server. But I hope you found this uh, tip helpful. These guys are really good. Um, everything is totally secure. So all the information you submit is not going anywhere apart from the usage of the service. As you can see, look how much bandwidth they use. So loads of people are using this even today. 126 gigabytes of data um, yeah so look that's all been done okay successful termination everything is good if you found this helpful well why not give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe for more wordpress and general web hosting goodness all the best